Hey, Sandra, good evening to you. Yeah, well, you know, the traffic here at LAX comes in waves, and in just the last few minutes, it's really picked up. It was extremely busy here earlier this morning, and I have to tell you that all the travelers we've been speaking with seem really excited to be getting out of town. This is a bucket list thing, so we're excited. Memorial Day weekend couldn't come soon enough for Madison and Jason Lewis. I definitely don't get time off very often, so it's uh, exciting to get away with my wife without the kids. They've been dreaming of going to the Indy 500 for years, but COVID surges. Our yeah. kids stayed home for a year and a half. We couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> and inflation prices put their plans on hold until today. Was it difficult finding an affordable airfare? Tell me about that. Yes, it was ridiculous. The Auto Club of Southern California predicts 3.1 million people in the region will be traveling for the unofficial kickoff to summer. Around 230,000 are expected to fly. We were kind of shocked there wasn't more people at the food in the airport right now. Justin and Emma Shump are celebrating a delayed honeymoon, waiting on a much anticipated flight to Europe. We're going to London for five days and then a few cities in Italy. But the majority of travelers will be getting to their destination by car. Nationwide, AAA estimates some 40 million will drive at least 50 miles from home. And while more people are getting out of town than this time last year, the numbers are nowhere near 2019, pre-pandemic. You know, just stay home, just keep it simple. You know, gas so high and I eh, just wanted to stay at home right now. You know, hold on to your money as much as you can. Gas prices have flattened this week after skyrocketing to record numbers. L.A. County currently reports an average of $6.09 a gallon. The national average is $4.59. Prices are more expensive uh, this Memorial Day. Airfare up 6% from last year. Mid-range hotel rates up 42% from last year. But car rental rates are down about 16% from last year. Best advice, you know, consider all-inclusive resorts. All right, and you can see the traffic is moving here once again at LAX. The airport actually has a Twitter handle where you can find real-time information on parking, wait times for getting into the airport, as well as wait times for getting through TSA security checkpoints. You can find it on Twitter again at FlyLAXStats. We'll also post that on our website, KTLA.com. Sandra, Micah, sending it back to you in Hollywood. You got it.